I'm Sharon Manton from Edible Experience Kosher Every Day, and today I'm going to teach you how to do a four braided challah. I'm going to show you using this one pound of dough on this excellent pastry board that I've had since about like, the time I got married. You can use a pastry board or a regular cutting board. Some people even have a plastic mat that they use on their counter to braid their challah. First thing we're going to do is we're going to kind of smooth our dough into a rectangle shape. Then we're going to use this pastry cutter to cut our dough into four pieces. If you have a pastry cutter, that's great. If not, you can use a regular knife, and that works pretty well too. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut our challah dough into half. By doing it in sections, it helps you to keep the dough evenly cut for when you want to braid it. So we did half, and now we're going to cut each half evenly into half again, giving us four braids. Then we're going to set them and separate them apart. We're going to take each strand and we're going to roll it very gently without deflating the dough so that the ends are a little bit tapered. And then we're going to set them to the side once we've done each strand. Once you do a strand, you're going to set it to the side and pinch it along with the one that you did before it, just like that. Okay. We have three, we're pinching, and then we're going to do the last one very gently. Okay. Now we have all four strands. Now the key to braiding kala is you're going to take opposite outside strands, pull them underneath the two middle ones, and fold them, fold it over the one that's in the center. I'll show you exactly what I mean by that. I'm going to lift the two center strands, I'm going to take the strand on the outside, and pull it underneath the two middle strands. I'm going to set the two middle strands down, and I'm going to fold it over the opposite center strand keeping that strand now as a middle strand. Now I'm going to take the opposite outside strand and I'm going to lift these two, bring that under the two, and again fold it under, over the other outside middle one. Now I'm going to take the opposite again, pull it under the two middle, and fold it over the opposite center. Now I'm going to lift the two again, Take the opposite braid, fold it under the two center, and fold it over the center braid. Do that one more time, and then take the outside again, over the center, and then when you're done, you just kind of pinch it together. Now it looks a little misshapen now, and the way that you can fix that is by kind of scrunching and pulling the dough apart a little bit, and just playing with it and forming it so that it makes a beautiful challah shape. Now some people tuck the ends in. I like to kind of just pinch them together so it gives you this really pretty challah shape once it's all done. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to put it on a cookie sheet, let it rise for about 30 minutes covered, put an egg wash on it, a little bit of egg and a little bit of water with a pastry brush and bake it for 20 to 25 minutes on 350 degrees and you'll have your yummy, beautiful, delicious chawas. And here they are, fresh out of the oven. Hot, yummy, and delicious. Enjoy your chawas that you braided with your family on Shabbos. I know that you'll get rave reviews. I'm Sharon Manton with Edible Experience Kosher Every Day. I look forward to seeing you next time.